China's automated farming is no longer a vision of tomorrow, it is happening today. In Xinjiang's golden fields and in the quiet waters of inland lakes, technology is breathing new life into farming. Machines sow with precision, and intelligent systems guide every step of growth. But this story is about more than harvests. It is farmers regaining hope, and communities rising with pride. Farming in China is being reshaped in ways that touch every life. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss these powerful stories of change. Across the Ili River Valley and Changji Prefecture, China's automated farming has redefined how wheat and corn are grown and harvested. Sunshine, water, and advanced tools meet here, creating fields that hum with life and machinery. This year, over 700,000 mu of wheat covered the soil, supported by subsidies worth millions. Farmers no longer depend only on manual labor. They use precision plowing, drip irrigation, and navigation-guided sowing. These systems ensure steady yields, even when weather shifts. For example, drip irrigation allowed some farmers to apply water and fertilizer four times in one season, raising harvest levels by nearly 20%. In Changji, corn farmers used self-driving harvesters to quickly load golden kernels into waiting trucks. In Capco County, the Liang Fan Farm has moved beyond ordinary greenhouses, embracing China's automated farming on a state scale. These new smart greenhouses are controlled by advanced technology that monitors temperature, humidity, and light with precision. The farm now produces over 20,000 tons of vegetables each year, feeding homes across China and boosting income for thousands of farmers. Unlike older greenhouses, which required constant manual adjustments, these facilities adapt in real time. Farmers witness technology not as a distant force, but as a partner that secures harvests and reduces waste. Rural families now rely on this system to grow higher-value crops and strengthen their livelihoods. Smart farming has changed Liang Fan Farm into more than a food source. It has become a symbol of rural renewal, where technology and tradition merge to fuel hope for the future. In Anhui, a surprising chapter of China's automated farming is unfolding inside a cement company. Anhui Kong Cement, once linked with heavy pollution, now captures carbon dioxide emissions and transforms waste gases into fertilizer. This fertilizer supports smart farming and enriches nearby fields. The company also uses artificial intelligence to monitor emissions, ensuring cleaner production. What was once gray smoke is now part of a cycle that feeds plants. The shift from gray manufacturing to green intelligence highlights a bigger truth. Even industries far from agriculture can contribute to food innovation. Here, farming gains strength from recycling industrial waste, and sustainability becomes practical rather than a slogan. By linking industry and agriculture, China is creating models that redefine what farming can mean in the modern age. This approach reduces reliance on chemical fertilizers, cutting costs for farmers and lowering soil damage. It also shows how digital tools can merge with environmental goals, creating measurable results. Local farmers now gain direct benefits from cleaner air and improved soil fertility.
The cement plant, once a symbol of industrial pollution, has become a partner in agricultural progress. In this way, Anhui is proving that industrial transformation and food security can grow together. Turpan's vineyards show another face of China's automated farming, where nature's extremes meet careful human care. Snowmelt water from ancient Kerez wells nourishes the vines, while scorching winds from the flaming mountains add an intense sweetness to the grapes. Farmers here build special drying houses where hot dry winds naturally turn grapes into golden raisins. Unlike factories that depend on machines, these farms rely on natural forces shaped by human design. Grapes grown in this land carry flavors found nowhere else, each cluster holding the memory of wind and sun. This balance between tradition and innovation reflects how smart farming in China values both heritage and modern tools. In Torpan, sweetness is not manufactured. It is patiently formed by the elements and guided by human wisdom. Xinjiang has stunned the country with record-breaking saline-resistant rice, a triumph of China's automated farming. In Aller, over 10,000 mu of rice fields produced 573.8 kilograms per mu, setting a new national record. The breakthrough lies in Exxon Rice 36, a variety bred for harsh soils. It resists salt, cold, and disease, turning once barren land into fertile fields. Irrigation channels now measure a salt content of only 0.3%, compared with nearly 4% before. What was once wasteland now holds endless rows of green crops. More than 300,000 mu of this rice variety are already under cultivation in Xinjiang. With saline land covering one-third of China, this success opens doors to developing over 100 million mu of farmland. Beyond rice, wheat, corn, and cotton may soon thrive here as well. This is smart farming at its boldest, converting hostile ground into rich food sources for millions. Scientists are already working to refine breeding methods for higher yields in tougher soils. Farmers, supported by digital monitoring, can now track soil quality and crop growth in real time. If scaled nationwide, this innovation could help secure China's long-term food supply while restoring damaged ecosystems. Far from the sea, Xinjiang is raising salmon with the help of China's automated farming. In Nilka County, fish breeders now use machines to sort, feed, and transfer salmon in mountain lakes. The process is highly automated, reducing human error and saving time. Over 9 million juvenile salmon are planned for release this year. In just three years, they will become market-ready fish. Workers pull nets daily, sending salmon through suction pumps that move them directly to packaging workshops. Orders flood in, with thousands of fish shipped each day to both local and international buyers. Snowmelt waters, rich in oxygen, provide the perfect environment for the salmon to grow. With more than 3 million hectares of cold water resources, Xinjiang has the potential to become a powerhouse in inland aquaculture. In Chongqing, a 33-meter office building carries one of the most unusual stories of China's automated farming. On its rooftop, more than two hectares of farmland flourish above busy city blocks. The farm includes rice paddies, lotus ponds, and vegetable gardens bordered by an artificial river. Workers tend the land while surrounded by skyscrapers, turning daily tasks into both labor and leisure. They pick fresh vegetables, breathe cleaner air, and enjoy countryside beauty without leaving the city. Rooftop farming reduces food transport costs, improves urban ecology, and reconnects people with farming traditions. With space in cities shrinking, this model proves how smart farming can climb vertically, not just spread across soil. In Aksu Prefecture, China's automated farming has transformed fruit farming into a global brand. The sweet cord apple of Aksu is now sold across China and Southeast Asia, winning fame for its crisp taste and long storage life. Farmers no longer rely only on seasonal luck. 
They use scientific orchard management, drip irrigation, and cold storage systems to maintain both quality and supply. These practices extend apple freshness and open access to distant markets. The apple industry also sustains thousands of local families, turning harvests into income and stability. Each year, modern technology strengthens the link between farmers and consumers. Here, smart farming ensures that tradition, the growing of apples in fertile Oxu soil, blends with innovation. The result is an orchard economy that thrives far beyond the region, carrying Xinjiang's apples into homes across Asia.